Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing this eye look and at the end of the video you will get a review. How did I like this palette? Hmm. Um, so if you want to see how what I used or how I used the Zoeva Naturally Yours palette, please stay tuned. I did use the pure, a little bit of the first love, some soft and sexy, some slow dance, and some timeless chic. So if you want to see how I got this eye look using this palette and want to see what my thoughts are on this palette and the quality, stay tuned. Did I mention I'm happy my husband's back from vacation? Oh, the coffee. He makes coffee like you would not believe, and I can't make it to save my life. So Mama is happy her hubs is home and probably just get prepared. There's some stupid humor, but I think it's because I finally have good caffeine. Good morning. Today we're using the Zoeva Naturally Yours palette, so I'm excited to try another one of these babies. And even more excited, my husband is home from a man vacation for like 10 days. Coffee's back. Woo. I don't understand how I cannot make coffee. Such a simple task, but so hard for this woman. All right, so we are going to start with this color here called Pure. And I'm just putting this on a fluffy brush. And we will use this as our base color to transition off of. I have already used the Painterly Paint Pot, and as you have noticed, as always, I do not bore you with foundation, blush, highlighters, lipstick. Well, not always. I do bore you. I bore myself. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's going to be one of them days where I'm cracking myself up again. Okay, next we are going to go in with Soft and Sexy. And you have to say it that way. Soft and sexy. And we are going to use that for our transition color. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we're going to take some slow dance. Okay, I'm going to switch to a flat yet fluffy brush. And we're going to use this slow dance for the lid. We're going to go back with Soft and Sexy, and we're just going to smooth out where we met Slow Dance, and get that just softened up a bit. Okay, we're going to go back in with our fluffy brush that we used some Pure, and we're going to pop that here on the inner corner. I'm going to take Soft and Sexy on a pencil type brush and go on the lower lash line. We're going to take a Makeup Geek pointed crease brush and this color is called Timeless and Chic. Or chic. I'm 
going back in with a little bit of a fluffier brush and we're just gonna blend when all else fails blend I'm gonna take a nice angled brush with that timeless chic chic potato potato and just darken up about the outer third of the eyeliner then I'm gonna go back with my pencil brush and I'm just gonna blend right again on top of that so we're layering the color and getting rid of any harsh lines we're going to use the little fluffy brush again for um, some pure and mix it with first love and just going to clean up right up underneath that brow bone. Sometimes when I tilt my head back I can actually see better if I've got fallout or if I've got an issue with the outer piece of my eyeliner or eyeshadow. So that just kind of helps clean it up on a different angle, which I know is kind of strange. But you should expect that from me. I'm just going to pop some powder right there where I did a little clean up. And there wasn't much fallout in this palette, which of course makes me happy. All right, I used to use this eyeliner a ton, and I can't remember why I got away from it. So we're going to see if I, after using it today, if I remember. It's called Maybelline. It's the Ultra Liner um, Waterproof. I used to wear this all the time, but again, for the life of me, I can't remember why I stopped using it, other than I love trying different products. So we're going to see if I can remember why I quit using it. This isn't a brown. It's in a dark brown, so it kind of goes with this eye look we have. And it's got a teeny tiny little brush. Teeny tiny. So I'm going to start about right here to get some of the product off, and then I will work my way to the inner. All right, it went on as easy as I remember. Actually, this is going on better than I remember. Um, so I'm gonna do a wear test to try to remind me why I would quit working or using something that is easy. <laughs> so I'll let y'all know. Okay, here comes the mascara. Let's see where we get globs. We're just gonna be, we're just gonna say we're gonna get globs today and maybe we won't get globs today. Because every day I come in positive saying I'm not going to be globbing up my face with mascara and then I glob it up. So, we're going to get globs today. I'm going to try the reverse psychology. Could it be? Today we're going to use on top the IT Superhero Mascara. I know I flip flop between that one and um, lately... And the Lash Sensational. I don't know why. I just get my little favorites going on. Number two for the coatage of eyelashes. 
I am going to add a little bit of salt, which is the ColourPop um, metallic lip, on top of this one. I think this one I used this morning was called Beeper. Okay, so now I'm going to fix my hair because it's looking like a hot mess. And um, I will be right back to give you an, my thoughts on this palette. Talk to you. Okay, I've got my rainy day hair finished. Because um, it's just going to be a hot mess anyways. Alright, so let's talk about the Zoeva um, Naturally Yours palette. Um, naturally, this should be yours. These colors are wonderful. Oh my gosh. I mean... If you enjoy having neutrals, you need this palette. It everything blended really well. Um, nothing. There was not a lot of fallout, and which, to be honest, I was expecting that of Zoeva. Um, so it was really nice to see that Zoeva lived up to their name. Totally loved how they blended and how they sit. So you may need this palette. I have no lies to tell. Um, so I hope you did enjoy this video using the Zoeva Naturally Yours palette because it needs to be naturally yours. Did you like that? Naturally yours. Um, as always, I want to thank you for putting up with my stupid humor and watching my videos. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, make it a beautiful day.